on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Okay, here's the scene. Izuku just riding along the, the streets unnoticed. And it just so happens uh, his hands, uh, they go in between certain pockets. Just uh, right in this weird old warehouse. And so, how'd you do? <laughs> Well, as he just comes up with a shit ton of jewels as well as gold. As he has sticks, he just starts counting through it. That's it? What? What do you mean that's it? That's a small fortune! Yeah, emphasis on small fortune. I expected more from you. much amber you can buy with that? Not nearly enough. But don't you, don't you call me dad. I'm your mentor. There is a difference. I, uh, but come on, I do you know how hard that was? Oh, the fact that you bumped into certain individuals distracted some of them with a loud noise. Oh, come on, I taught you all that as soon as you could walk and talk. That's child's play. But I... I'm not as fast as you. That's no excuse. I'm not as skilled as you. True, but still not an excuse. That just means you need to train more. Heck, I'm a hundred years old. Technically, I'm older than that, but... That was the old me, but still. Damn it! Fucking rackash. I'm sorry, what was that? I said rackash. <laughs> what the hell what was that word? You have no right to say that word. Uh, what? So I can't say rackash? There you go. That you can say. Uh, what can I say? Uh, the R word. Yeah, no right to say that word. But you say it all the time. Just because I say it does not mean you get to say it. Oh, awesome. It's a bunch of gar goblin shit. Oh, speaking of which, toilet's clogged. You can grow as much as you want. That toy ain't gonna get no cleaner. Man, this is so unfair. Life's not fair. That's one of the first things I ever taught you before you. I started teaching you how to steal. As uh, yeah, Izuku. He has no idea where he came from. All he does know is that. Styx was the only one around, technically, raising him, which being more of a pain in the ass mentor than a parental figure. But, at very least, Mizuki was a baby. Styx saw an opportunity. Was a better. 
reason to take your eyes off your coin purse. A weird noise or an adorable baby. So yes, Sticks, though he can't go certain places, Izuku sure as hell can. Which makes it easier for to infiltration. Makes it sure as hell more easy whenever dwarves are around with those honkers of theirs. Oh well, yes, safe to say, though he acts like it, Izuku uh, is mean, means uh, more to him than he would ever really care to admit. If anything, who knows what, what few jobs wouldn't have gone as smoothly if it wasn't for having a human on your side as, as close as Izuku is. Every so often, whenever Six does, you're going for for a job, either collecting or taking one. It's a lot easier with Izuku, considering Izuku doesn't just throw up red flags. He may have green hair, but he ain't got the green skin. <laughs> oh, man, what was he eating? Yeah. Seriously, all because he has amber. He, yeah. Hmm. He always said I shouldn't touch that stuff, but I'm sure one sip wouldn't hurt. This is a goose sneaks in to Sticks' room. As he just looks at him, just snoring and all that. Like, okay, you smug bastard. Let's see how cocky you are once we're on an even playing field. I'm reaching out for a vial, but as soon as he picks it up, he notices. Oh, damn. Yeah. Sticks. His arm is pointing towards him, and uh, he has a he has a a bolt trained right at Izuku's forehead. Um, give me one reason not to fire. I um, I'm still waiting on that reason, Brad. I didn't steal it. You think you could? For one, my ears are more sensitive than yours, so I knew you were coming before you even know. Plus, these special eyes of mine make it so much easier to notice your direction. All I had to do was flip, and uh, you didn't know that I knew. Uh, okay. And plus, my friend over there, Izuku just turning his head, looking at a damn coffee table, seeing one of Sticks' clones. Oh, you bastard! Hey, I didn't get this old for being stupid. Now put it down and walk away. Oh, fine. But can you at least teach me something else besides stealing? At least pickpocketing? Look. You should be grateful that you can. You blend in with the crowd, unlike me. Yeah, but I want... I want to do more than just pickpocket of some losers. Easy marks and yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, fine, fine. I guess I can teach you a few things besides just stealing to keep food on the table. I believe we've gathered enough over the years to take a break from it. Really? 
<sighs> yeah, yeah, I don't really care, but fuck it. Yes! Okay, where are you going to teach me? Alchemy. Huh? Wait. What's that? Uh, you don't know? Wait, how old are you? Six. <sighs> what do you think I get these vials of amber from? I thought you buy them. Uh, yes and no. Sometimes I steal them, sometimes I buy them, uh, sometimes I make them myself. What, what, wait, what? <sighs> Man. Such a pain in the ass sometimes. Yes, I make amber. These flasks of the stuff. That's... But how? Um, can you show me? <sighs> Why else would I say I would... Never mind. Never mind. I forget you're not the smartest. <sighs> hmm. Let's see. What should we start out with? Of course, you're going to learn the basics of alchemy. Well, okay. How about this? First things first. What? Please. I'm all ears. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm all ears. Is that a joke? What? what? No. Good. Cuff it was. I might need to rectify that. What does that mean? Yeah, let's just say that tongue of yours might be getting you into too much trouble. Okay, let's get to the lesson. Sure. Tomorrow. What? Yeah, you interrupted my sleep, dumbass. That is so unfair! What's unfair? Not getting your beauty sleep when you know you need it. I mean, look at you. Really? Uh, you know they're saying? The face only a mother can love? Well, uh, apparently that person never saw you before. <laughs> you want to talk? Oh. <laughs> you have no idea how how good I look. I mean, all these considered, I doubt you even have hair down there. Wait, what? Uh, uh, never mind. You are a kid. Of course, that will fly over your head. But yeah, tomorrow. As yeah, Izuku, he's all excited to finally learn something that would be useful besides stealing. It, uh, he wouldn't be the best at things, but yeah, at the very least he knows that if he does well enough, maybe Stix will start taking him more seriously. Remember, he's still a kid, so... <laughs> first things first. Ingredients. Okay, what do we need? You need some raw amber. What? What? Yep. Uh, wait. Isn't it here? Oh yes, I have Amber. 
So what you're saying is, yep, you're going to go around and collect your own. But, no buts, this is what you wanted. But, I, no, that is so unfair. Hey, when I make my own, you don't see me complaining about it. Always complain. How you don't have enough amber. You, oh, this is that. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. So, where do I get this amber? Alright, how about this? How about you actually use your skills to steal yourself some ingredients? What? Oh yeah. But, seriously? Uh-huh. Okay, anything else I should know? Oh, yeah. Be careful touching it. Why? Because it will burn through anything living? Really? Yes, of course. And... You didn't think to tell me this until now because it was on a need to know basis. So yes, Izuku is off to find raw amber. The only thing is, uh, it's harder to find than he initially thought. Much to the point where he was like, okay, seriously. As much as he drinks this stuff, I thought it would be easier to find. But then he starts listening about it's like, oh, it's illegal. People aren't supposed to drink this stuff, but how come he can? Now we're really understanding why, but it's like, very well. Guess I'll find some uh, way to get it. But then he notices a distinct smell. Feeling all too familiar, but also strange. Wait, why does it smell like that? Wait, is that? As he sees a small flask of amber. Oh, okay. <laughs> like someone is being naughty. As he tails the man, when he drops off some flasks of amber, Izuku falls in back to where he potentially got it. As he sees a warehouse of dried amber. Since, yeah, Sticks only said pretty much raw amber will burn the hell out of you. He's already just, okay, get my gloves, and... Good, I got it. But seeing that mount, uh, couldn't hurt to grab a, a couple more just in case I mess up my first time. As yes, he has a whole satchel, or at least a backpack, knapsack, duffel bag of raw dried amber. But then. The poor bastard realizing why well, something's not right and sees Suzuku. He runs in trying to kill him. Only thing is, Suzuku's like, I hope what dad said was right as he lunges at the man and smashes the amber on his face, knocking him out. But also, Suzuku sees, like, wait, it's not burning him. The damn liar! Him just taking what he wanted and leaving. There. 
That's a live wrong amber. Yeah, about that. Didn't you say it burns people? At least living tissue? Yeah. How come this doesn't? Oh, because it's solid. Dried. You didn't tell me about that part. Like I said, need to know basis and you didn't need to know. Hey, you're such an asshole. Careful. Insulting me will just get my bowels all riled up again. <coughs> Either way, the, let's begin with the lesson. Alright, first things first. You need this, that, this, and that, 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 and this, and this much amber. As yes, Izuku has collected a lot of raw amber. The only thing is, he uses pretty much all of it just to get one dose right. And the only reason why he he knows he did it right is when sticks can actually chug it like it's water. His first 15 times, yeah, six spat that shit out and just poured it down the drain. On the 16th, Izuku, he's a, did I do it right? You're like, yeah, that's good shit. <coughs> Ooh, that's, that's just what I needed. So you think that I could? No. Ask. You're going to ask to drink some. But I can go get more. I know where it was stored, really. Care telling me? No. <sighs> Seriously, why are you being so difficult? Really? Yeah, it makes no sense. Man, you're an asshole. Eh, I've been called worse. But, like I said, no amber. It fucks with your mind. And or gives you powers. I'm not willing to take that risk with you. Man, you're such a jerk. No. I just don't want my bait slash distraction as well as ankle biter dying on me. But how come you can drink it? Because Amber loves me. As Styx goes to sleep, and so does Izuku. Only thing is, Styx failed to realize Izuku has a vial of Amber with him. Yeah, it turns out the bastard who Izuku knocked out unconscious. He had a vial with him, seemingly for personal use. <laughs> Izuku opens it, smells it. It's like, okay. Bombs up. As he slowly downs it and notices, huh, is doesn't taste terrible as then he notices something his veins start to appear from his arms as they glow with this what's going on as sticks he starts hearing voices in his head again as he realizes wait I know that damn voice as he runs into Izuku's room and sees the empty vial of amber. And sees Izuku convulsing and screaming out in pure pain as his eyes fade in and out with the glow. As he just smacks Izuku's senses telling him what the hell was he thinking. I wanted to be like you. The sticks, he's trying to get Izuku to throw up. But... When Hizuku does, not a trace is amb that damn amber can be seen. So, yeah. Hizuku falls unconscious. Sticks, 
He checks for a pulse. It's weak. He's like, okay, okay, yeah. I'm sure he can power through this. I mean, he, I trained him. Yeah, I, I know he can get through this. I, I'm, oh, damn, 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 damn. Should have kept a better eye on that brat, but. Oh, I'm going to regret this. As then Izuku just jolts awake. Huh? What happened? Uh, you... How? As Izuku looks at Six and sees... Like, what the... Wait, what's going on? Why do you look so weird? Me? What are you talking about? Uh, for some reason, you look different. I can't describe it. I can see your veins? Wait. Are you saying color is that amber? Yeah, uh, actually, yeah. Yeah, amber vision. What's that? Don't worry about it. Here. Izuku just saying, wait, what's this cup for? Break it. Um, why? Just do it. Izuku shatters it in his hands and he knows his weight. Why was that easier to do than. Well, I'll be damned. What? Looks like you got what you wanted. Really? Looks like you got your powers. But I still don't understand how. It usually kills humans and, you know, things who don't relish in amber like goblins do. Hell, even the elves, actually. What? Uh, yeah, goblins are born from amber. Really? Uh huh. So, huh? I have a question. Whatever. Go ahead. What does Rakash mean? <laughs> I'm sorry. Fine. It's orcish for vermin. Okay. Orcish. Wait. But you're not an orc. I... <sighs> okay. Okay. Sit down. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little story. As yes, this is pretty much... Izuku being told the life of sticks, or at least the orc, as well as, you know, certain events transpiring, people pissed, people dying, and all that. So, yes, Izuku learning that, oh my god, you were an orc. Yeah, I know. And the reason why goblins exist is because you want to outsmart the other version of you. Technically, he was the original me. He wanted the heart of the tree to find a way to become an orc again. He got torn to pieces by the other goblins that I created. <sighs> oh, damn. Huh. That's, that's very unexpected. Oh, believe me, how do you think I felt when I learned that he knew everything? Oh, I was so pissed to find out that I was being controlled like that. That the voices in my head weren't my thoughts, but someone, well, technically they were my thoughts, but it wasn't me, me, it was someone else who was 
God damn it! <sighs> so, the original you is dead. And now you are you. I mean, you are your own person. Wait. Why not just give him the heart if you were going to destroy it and... <laughs> That's actually funny because I just really want to be a bastard. I want him to know that he was so close to his goal. But was snatched away from someone he not only tried to kill but also completely underestimated. But seriously. That dip in the amber really did a number on me. Some of my memories are still fuzzy. Some of the powers you could do, oh, it was incredible from what I can remember. Even then, I get some flashes or something. Huh. So, you were an orc. Yep. I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah. Sadly, I can't really go to any orcs and mingle anymore. <sighs> Sorry to hear that. I mean, seriously. I've seen orcs before, and yeah. I mean, I think you're... What? Um, uh, barely taller than me? Uh, <sighs> yeah. Yeah. But, if anything, smaller frame makes it easier for for my kind of work. Huh. Thank you for sharing that with me. <laughs> it's not like I had a choice, Brad. Right. So, what now? <sighs> well, now. I have no choice but to train you to see what abilities you do have. This also means we're gonna have to get some more amber. Why? You notice your vision is fading in and out a little bit, right? The amber vision? Yeah. When you use one of these abilities, it drains you of amber. So, you need to learn how to control it better to, you know, not burn out your reserves. You never know when the excess amber could come in handy. Which is why I always carry a certain amount, just in case. Oh. Okay. Man, you are one good kid, though. What do you mean? I meant what I said about the amber. If anything, the fact that you survived, you are lucky as hell. Huh. Well, what other abilities can I expect? Well, I really don't know. The amber vision is a given. You hear any voices in your head? No? Okay, so you don't have to worry about that hell. So, let me see. Well, you already have increased strength. Really? I mean, yeah, not all kids can just break a glass cup with their bare hands. <laughs> True. Wait, so you have increased... Well, actually, no. That's one thing that you do have. I... 
mainly focus on stealth and speed and agility, which, yeah, the Amber does help with. I guess since you're not a goblin, it increased your strength stats and whatnot. Huh. So, how do I know if I need more Amber? Huh. Well, first of all, will your power start to fade a little bit? Really? Yep. Like, how I make a clone, it takes a huge chunk of uh, amber out of me. But I made it so once it's destroyed, I get back at least some of it. Okay, okay. Not to mention commanding them can be a pain in the ass if you don't want to listen. I also got a visibility that just drains amber like crazy if I use it too often. Alright. Anything else? Well, let's see. Hmm. When enough practice, you can increase the range of your amber vision. As well as the added perks of it. Because right now, you can just mainly see the amber in my system. Okay. But, if we hone your skills, we can make it so you can see things that will be easier to steal, ledges that are easy to grab hold of, etc. And that's if you want to be a thief assassin like me. Huh. What if I want to be more like a warrior? I don't know. But you're more than... You're more than uh, able to show me if that's what you choose to be. Huh. But this can make me a better thief? An assassin? Yeah. But there's one thing that it'll never give you from what I can see already. What's that? My good looks. <laughs> you serious? Yep. Sorry. You're gonna be that ugly forever. Izuku just laughing it off his sticks goes back to bed. And reminds Izuku, next time, don't do something that stupid. The next day, is Izuku pretty much trying his best to get more in tune to his new found abilities. One of the things Sticks really likes showing off is his invisibility as Izuku is pretty much helpless. So Sticks has to tell him to use his increased senses or use his amber vision to find and block his attacks. A lot easier said than done considering Izuku has never won a sparring match against Sticks ever. And that's even when he could see him. Remember, he's still a kid, so he has room to grow, but still, it's, he's going to get his ass whooped a lot before he's even close to Styx's level. But, Styx is actually more inclined to teach Izuku more what he knows. Though, yes, he's pissed that Izuku actually did sneak and a taste of amber. He's also happy to see that Izuku is so determined to be more like him. So ever since he became a, a goblin, at least the original him, he's pretty much forgotten the whole thing about being a father figure. <sighs> so, yeah. At the very least, this sticks is actually pretty much yeah, have someone to pass all my knowledge to, type thing. Yeah. In which, yes, thievery, assassinations, alchemy, 
In which, yeah, being a scholar really comes in handy. Though Izuku does find it crazy to think that, wow, you were an orc and that's what Amber did to you. He's more happy to think that maybe Six is finally livening up. Seeing him as more is just to, a brat to take care of. So, yeah. It's safe to say they actually start getting along better. But to the point where Izuku, at the age of 10, is actually more proficient with his abilities. So, yeah. When it comes to jobs, though, yes, sticks can easily take on several people. When it comes to his stealth tactics, Izuku's increased strength, speed, as well as the fact that he can walk out in the daylight in front of people makes it so much more easy to really hmm, finish a job quicker. He doesn't have to be as stealthy as Styx does, but when he does run into dwarves, they do wonder what the hell is that smell. But as Izuku just shows them his dagger, in which, thanks to Styx, always has a fresh coat of goblin blood on it. Which, yes, as you could imagine, it does impress the dwarves. But, uh, sorry. They still talk about how, eh, you, you're still young. You'll get to our level sooner or later. <laughs> but Izuku, over the years of having drank in Amber, being trained by Styx and his abilities, he has gotten more of a cocky-ass attitude. So he does get himself into trouble every now and again, especially when it comes to smart elect dwarfs. So, <laughs> one thing is, Izuku, he, he can pretty much knock down a couple of dwarves. Good, that's nice. But, he ain't getting through that armor. <laughs> He's even better. Pitch fights with orcs. Much to Styx is, are you serious? Why are you such an idiot? He's a good coming home with bruises, cuts, black eyes, all the like. Knocked on his head, and then he gets punched by Styx for being an idiot. Oh no, it's a, it's not bad for Izuku. He enjoys spending time with Styx and Styx. Though he does treat Izuku like somewhat of a pain in the ass, he can't deny that he, he's huh, enjoying the company. Only thing is, Izuku, he's getting more ambitious. He wants to be more like Styx. Not to the point where he's a goblin, but to the point where he's Famous or infamous for his work. So, without Styx's knowledge, Suku goes out and uh, performs jobs by himself. Whether it be stealing or killing. Because being around Styx for so long, uh, a kid's going to pick up some habits. Izuku always carries more than enough amber just in case things do get hairy. When it comes to his clones, oh yeah, they are actually very combat proficient. Much to the point where Izuku trains with them just to make himself better. However, when Styx does find out that Izuku is taking all these unnecessary risks just to be more like him, he feels a lot guilty. Because having Izuku around has 
turned his cynical personality more to a caring sort. But he always brushes it off when he, he still goes around. I'm trying to think of it like, ugh, come on. Red name, he's just some, some idiot who trusts me enough so he doesn't know I'm pretty much stiffing him. But he can't deny you how good it feels for him to actually have someone to train or teach to raise. At first, yeah, he probably thought he was nothing more than either a burden or someone who could technically help him with his jobs just to make it easier, especially as a baby and people be distracted by the cuteness. But, over the years, he sees Zuku as his son. He may never tell him that, but it is how he feels. So, the amount of punishment that Izuku's in for doing something so reckless and stupid, yeah, Styx is not sh showing any kind of mercy. And proceeds to beat the beloved crap out of him over and over again. And though, yes, Izuku is upset that Styx is treating him like this, deep down he knows that he cares enough. But, just to make sure that Six isn't too mad, Izuku, by the age of 16, has a surprise for him. Izuku bought an airship, which Six is pretty much not impressed by. He's like, oh, I don't like flying. It makes me very uncomfortable. I get air sick. Try to come up with all these damn excuses, but Izuku was like, You don't get it at all, do you? Nope. <sighs> Think of it like this You're in a jam. You have no way out. But what was this? An airship? Ready? Huh. I have, uh, hopefully, you know. How to get there? Hopefully, you know someone on there that could probably sneak you aboard. So <laughs> Did I ever tell you how much I love you? No. I'm still waiting for that. Well, <clears throat> you can keep waiting. As yes, Izuku pretty much made the airship his own little mobile hideout. While Styx is pretty much stuck with the waterfall and cliff, Izuku has been able to actually operate in other cities, kingdoms, much to the worrisomeness that is Styx, but also, I'm so proud of him. When it comes to Izuku's behavior, he is a bit of a a-hole when it comes to certain people. Especially if they are of the dwarven race. But they may be a little bit pissed off with his smart-ass nature. But he is good for a laugh. Much to the point where... Izuku does actually learn some things from them. Yeah, they hate goblins, and his dad or his adopted father is a goblin. But why not learn a few things? I mean, Six taught him how you know, to do alchemy. So, what can the dwarves teach him, possibly? metalworking as well as certain other useful things like crafting certain wares that he could sell for making a nice profit or depending on the situation 
pass off cheap goods as things that, that are made from high quality. Again, we just tell Six about this. Six is proud. <laughs> also, okay, man, seriously. Do you have any idea how dangerous this is? I do. So, that's it. You know what you're doing is dangerous. Yeah. Well, they offer to take you out on a hunt for goblins. Well, make sure you're not in the vicinity. What? Oh, come on, Dad. Don't call me. I'm going to call you that regardless, so you better just get used to it. Look. They're teaching me things that you can't. You're not as strong as the dwarves. You're not as... What? Uh... Nothing. No. Go ahead and say what you want to say. It's nothing. I swear. I. I. Uh, it's true. I've taught you everything I could. And. You want to explore other avenues and whatnot. I understand that, but. I still worry about you. As much as it pays me to say, as much as my pride is pretty much taking the hit for this, yeah, I care about you. I mean, I taught you so much. I mean, I remember when, all those years ago when you made that shitty tasting amber. <laughs> Yeah, you spat that stuff out so quick. I yeah, I know. Hmm. But like I said, I may not like what you do, but I can't deny that you're an adult now. You can make your own decisions. <sighs> Thank you. But if anything, be careful around those goblins. Too many of them crowd around you and you are pretty much done for. Luckily I can make clones. <laughs> and turn invisible. Yeah. But at the very least, you know what? Yeah, I I think I think you're ready to know some more things. What do you mean? You know those vials of health potion, you know vials of life I make. Uh huh. And those bombs, acid traps. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. They may not be as strong as the uh, dwarven bombs, but they should at least, uh, you know, help out. Wait, are you really gonna? Hey, don't get all mushy on me, twerp. Just want to teach you some things while I can. Hmm. <laughs> Why? Why are you saying it like that? I'm old. Uh, what do you mean? 
mean, yeah, of course you're an old man, but <laughs> what are you talking about? What's you being old got to do with anything? I have no idea how much time I got left, but I'm more things for sure. I at least want to make sure that you can take care of yourself wholeheartedly after I'm gone. If anything does happen to me, all I have is yours. Got it? Uh. Uh. uh yeah. Good. <sighs> so, what would you like to learn? I'll make first bombs. What? Yeah, I'm on there. I make bombs. <sighs> You're crazy. Thank you. How about we start with something more, uh, Helpful. Let's see. Ah, a bottle of dwarf cologne. Why? Well, it comes in handy. Like, you know, we guys don't really meld well with dwarves, so it would help. Hmm. Yeah. So, I use this to scare them? Sometimes. Other times, it might make the dwarves a little bit more happy to see you. Oh. Okay. What else? Lock picks and throwing knives. Oh, I already know how to make those. What? Oh, yeah. Uh, right, right. Uh, the dwarves. Yeah. For anything, it really comes in handy. When you learn, you know, metal working. I bet. So. Hmm. Acid traps. Mm hmm. So, uh, well, let's go get those eggs. What? Oh, yeah. We need a certain, uh, certain egg. We also need this, this poison spores. Wait, what? What are the poison spores for? Don't worry about it. Uh, we'll see iron ore as well as. Let's see. Uh, let's see which. Ah, rubies. What? What what they got to do with anything? <laughs> Before I truly would surrender anything to you when I pass, I at least want to make sure that you actually get past those bastards. What? But they attack at the slightest. I know. I can get past them easy. You? We'll see. Uh, yes. Zuku knowing that this is pretty much a suicide mission. Okay. You know what? Fuck it. I can do this. I can do this. I can't, I can't do this. Oh, damn, damn, damn. This is gonna hurt a lot. I wish there has been some close calls, but Izuku perseveres. Much to the relief of sticks, but also is like, damn it. Pretty much. Sooner or later, he won't even need me for anything. Huh. For all I know, he probably might 
you know, make his own crew or settle down, have a family, or not even really want to be around me anymore. Uh, I never thought I would care this much, but look at me now. And yes, Izuku, upon completing his task and getting a shit ton of Roby eggs, Six is impressed. As when it comes to the acid traps, bombs, Izuku has made a mini arsenal of each, much to Styx's amazement, but also father figure worriedness ensues.